coming from our campsite somewhere between lock 21 and 22 or 23 on the Hennepin Canal. The remnants of the fire from the wonderful hospitality of the three Brennan sisters and the three guys that married them. <laughs> Some of them are already gone, but uh, they've got a sweet little setup here. Miguel and I came in last night and uh, had no food. We hadn't ate all day since lunch and uh, we were eating breakfast bars and Chantel came and offered us food and beverage and hospitality. Thank you all. And this is the world famous Silo Psycho Saloon. which uh, Psycho Silo is right here in Langley. We are the only thing in Langley. They took us to the biker bar, but uh, it's the other kind of bikers. <laughs> so. Thanks, we appreciate it. That was the coolest bar I've ever been to. Bye. See ya. See ya. Trail is crossing the canal. The Chesapeake and Ohio, or the CNO towpath, the mules only pulled on one side. But on the Hennepin Canal, the mules pulled from both sides. The bicycle path is switching over to the other side here. Miguel Spartan, the Iowa Hawkeye jersey today. Our last day in Illinois, and we'll reach Iowa. Go Hawks! There goes Miguel conducting. found this young man riding this towpath. His name is Bruce, supposedly. Bruce, what are you doing? Bruce Bikes America. How far in are you? You know, I haven't added up for several days. Probably 1,300 miles, maybe. Wow. About 4,000, 12, 12 to 1,300. And which state is your favorite so far? Iowa. <coughs> Illinois. <even> there. <laughs> Another aqueduct. The trail goes here. The creek goes under over there. Something to eat at Geneseo Brewing. I first met Miguel a year ago on Ragbri, and his very first hour and a half on Ragbri, he's a paramedic. There's 20 to 25,000 people that ride across Iowa. It's the biggest bike ride in the world. And there's probably a thousand people at the first stop, and some guy in front of him falls over with a heart attack. Yep. And, and Miguel jumps out, gives him CPR, hops on his bike, rides away. He was the hero of all of Ragbri. That's, uh, that's one way to put it, but there was a lot of people there that helped, and so I was really happy to just be at the right place at the right time with the right great people, so. And uh, that's how he started Ragbri. Oh, we were doing so well, and first flat. Paul had one back in Pennsylvania. And now is Miguel's first one. Pretty good odds overall.
Coming into the Quad Cities in the rain. There is today's goal. So I'm back in the Quad Cities and here with my friend Jim Bellick, Lindsay Park Yacht Club, which is my first job being a dock boy over there. Just having a few beers with Jim. So my first job almost 50 years ago was working here, pumping gas. And this is the lift system. We brought boats up and down. So I did 50 years ago what these guys are doing. <laughs> Davenport Riverfront Trail, and this is WT, who I've literally known since I was born. Our mothers shared the delivery room for two days after we were born. Or, or the, that's right. This is the oculus in the middle of the bridge. You can see it out of the water. Oh, it doesn't, it isn't real clear, but you can see straight down. You gonna race us? Come on, beat us. Go, go, go. Go. You can beat. Oh, go. All right. I think you won. In Bettendorf, Iowa, at my longtime friend WT's house, and it's time to regroup with some of the stuff I brought with me. I originally bought just two riding shirts. I got a new one, which I have on. One of my bras pretty pilly, so I may not wear it much, but I'm gonna send some stuff back. I'm gonna set my hammock back, which I've never used once. This is a really cool miniature tent that's just a bug screen. I thought maybe in the afternoons I would put that out and keep the bugs away, but I've never used it once. My shocks have their own little pump, which I've never used. And if I really needed to use a pump, I'm sure I can find a bike shop. So that's going back. Never used my visor. I have some arm sleeves that I've used a couple times, but I pretty much put sunscreen on every day. So don't need it. Got a different computer charger, my laptop charger that has uh, USB-C ports. So it's smaller and it also charges my phone. So I'm sending that back. So hopefully that'll lighten the load a little bit. Pretty shoes match your bike. Sort of. That was the point. Nobody could lose me. <laughs> I got a bike rack and it doesn't fit in my car with yep. the bike rack on. So Bruce thankfully, Uncle money. Bruce and all of his friends are helping me get the uh, bike rack I don't on. Think, no, I don't think it did. I think it helped. Because um, uh, a lot of people don't little... put their boats in. There's the boys. <laughs> yeah. Same, same travels partner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I got on tape. Yeah. <laughs> And then and Art, Bruce, you can oh, do it. Old classmates and Jim, and Jenna, we're all here. 
Well, cheers. Thank you for everybody coming out. Cheers. Cheers. We're getting, we're getting, ready, we're, we're getting ready to uh, take off from Bettendorf and head to Burlington and Santa Monica, St. Louis, and all those other places. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, 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 Park, right? 66. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Bruce is in his hometown uh, for a couple days over Labor Day, and now he's headed back on the route, heading down south to Burlington. Hey, Jim. He's got uh, C. Bruce, yeah. W.T., and Jim, and Hi. Cindy, and, Hi. And, and Art. Have fun, gang. There, Bruce. So, we, what'd you forget? Did you forget I, something? I don't know. I guess so. Maybe the you, camera. I don't trust you this camera. A beer with, or something? I don't trust this camera with Jim. There's no <laughs> I'm saying what's going to be on it when I get it back. <laughs> the original Isle of Capri Casino. There is Davenport's Bridge to Nowhere. I think it has a better name, but I think it's more known as the Bridge to Nowhere. And my first major flat, it sounded like a <laughs> cannon went off right next to us. I hopefully literally the, thought hopefully we were the tire's okay. <laughs> the good news is, oh, the tire looks okay. You should have heard it. It was like a cannon. It was oh, incredibly just, loud. Yeah. Scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Kaboom! Yeah, I don't think a patch is gonna help that. Yeah. Hey T, can you hand me the patch for this? <laughs> this gentleman helped us figure it out. Give him a shout. Gotta give him a shout out. What's your name? Scott Welch. And are you from this area? Yeah, we're from Rock Island. Okay. Well, thank you. The flat has changed. I don't know how long that took, probably 45 minutes. Here we go, Art Wolf, Bruce Bikes America. Like and subscribe. Nice lunch at Clark's Landing in Buffalo, Iowa. WT is going to call it a day. Thank you, everyone. Yay. From the packs. <laughs>